10 Horrific Crimes Committed Against Campers Camping has long been a well-liked pastime because of the millions of acres of national park property, state and municipal parks, and private campgrounds. Of course, in earlier eras, camping was more about survival, for hunters, explorers, pioneers, and fur traders alike, living in the wilderness was just a way of life. With the release of William H. H. Murray's Adventures in the Wilderness, or Camp Life in the Adirondacks, camping as a form of recreation gained popularity in 1869. After that, more camping guides and gear came out to make camping more fun and comfortable. A simple RV was hand-built atop an automobile in 1904. It had an icebox, illumination, and bunks. Eleven years later, a bus was converted into the first fully equipped motor home, revolutionizing American vacationing. The Gas Electric Motor Bus Company, owned by Roland Conklin, created a brand new automobile in 1915 called the Gypsy Van. The double-decker car was eight tones in weight, 25 feet, 7.6 meters, long, and had all the modern comforts. The Conklin family took the van on its maiden cross-country trip and made stops along the route to educate the public and the media about the vehicle's marvels. The camping obsession expanded throughout the next century as new cars and better equipment became available. Even though camping has a wealth of options for fun and adventure, it also has a dark side. People who enjoy the woods in full seclusion run the risk of becoming victims. Predators can sometimes enter a designated park even when there are other people there. The 10 most heinous crimes committed against campers are listed here. Hi there welcome to Topics World, please give your suggestions in the comment section. Number 10. A murderous couple. It does not necessarily imply that someone is safe just because they live in an RV and are not roughing it out in a tent. As seen by the murder of Mitchell Bradford Ingle, a more permanent way of life in an RV community could offer a little bit more protection, but it is not always enough to discourage a determined killer. Ingle met Austin Jeffrey Booten and his wife, Kathleen Elizabeth Rose Booten, while he was residing in an RV at a campsite near Golden, Colorado. Because an Ingle vehicle was implicated in the Booten's arrest for a fatal carjacking in Utah, police got in touch with the Colorado authorities. The local police were asked to check on Ingle's well-being because his dead body was found in his RV. Both Bootens entered guilty pleas for the slaying in Colorado. They stated that Ingle had become a friend and had welcomed them into his RV. Austin Booten allegedly took offense when the 63-year-old suggested they all have sex and subsequently shot the guy with a crossbow, striking him in the wrist. After that, he was successful in killing Ingle by slicing his throat. Number 9. When Greed Causes Murder During a fight in an RV park, Ingle wasn't the only victim. A dispute over money and a broken bicycle on May 20, 2022, resulted in a murder in a Las Vegas RV park. In connection with a rent dispute, Charles Meeks, age 55, was accused of killing Kevin Dodson, age 61. According to the police, Meeks allegedly claimed he was evicted from the victim's RV despite having paid rent. Over it and a bicycle that Meeks claimed Dodson had wrecked, the men quarreled. Meeks pepper sprayed the other man before taking out a knife and stabbing him repeatedly. Later, Dodson passed away at a hospital. Number 8. The murderer is inside the home. Sometimes the biggest threat comes from someone far closer than an acquaintance. On September 16, 2021, a mother, father, and their 13-year-old daughter learned this the hard way. William Quince Colburn III, a 15-year-old from Arkansas Pass, Texas, started posting graphic pictures of his deceased family members on the social networking platform Discord. Along with the postings, he made threats that he would start his violent spree at a school. The adolescent refused to come out when police were called to the Arkansas Oaks RV Resort in Ingleside to conduct an investigation. A shot was heard a little while afterwards. Colburn was discovered inside, dead from a self-inflicted gunshot. The bodies of his mother, father, sister, and two family pets were all in the RV. Number 7. No More Friends a second murder victim was also slain in the comparatively secure RV neighborhood. 
At a campground in Biloxi, Mississippi, on May 26, 2020, 41-year-old Micah Harrington was fatally shot. He was discovered outside the on-site laundry, his corpse severely dismembered. Residents of the park called the incident, which left him partially dismembered and stabbed, a bloodbath. Brower, 41, was the subject of a complaint. Another Mazalia Travel Park inhabitant was Brower. The two guys, according to a family member, were formerly buddies. Authorities have not disclosed a suspected motive, but the accused defiance lawyer has claimed that his client has mental illness and thought someone was attempting to murder him. Number 6. A Brutal, Murderous Friendship It sounds like a fantastic send-off before beginning a military career to go camping with a close buddy. Unfortunately for 20-year-old Trevor Holminski, a terrible murder took place at the end of the camping trip. Sheldon Stewart, a keen outdoorsman, made the decision to go camping with his best buddy, Holminski, after getting accepted into the Marine Corps. But on August 22, 2015, something really bad happened on that camping trip. At Bucks Lake in California, firemen were battling a brush fire when they came across Stewart, who was cut, bloody, and on the verge of passing out. He said that Holminski was to blame for his friend's attack because they had both taken LSD and Stewart had turned down Holminski's advances. Police stepped up their hunt for Holminski after discovering a charred body at the scene of the fire because they suspected that he may have attacked his companion before killing someone else. But because some of Stewart's claims did not add up, they were also beginning to doubt him. When they realized it was Holminski's body that had been discovered in the fire, they examined Stewart's account much more closely. He ultimately acknowledged that some of his wounds were self-inflicted, but they didn't seem severe enough for a deadly fight. Finally, he acknowledged that Holminski had urged him to put him out of his agony when he begged him to kill his buddy. Stewart was found guilty of first-degree murder and arson despite the fact that no one knows exactly what occurred during that drug-fueled night. Number 5 domestic tragic event. Statistics indicate that domestic violence is a severe problem in the United States, with approximately 20 people being physically attacked by their spouse every minute. On February 3, 2021, a murder occurred at the Shady Creek RV and Park Resort in Michigan as a result of one of these occurrences. Police arrived at the resort after receiving reports of a suspected shooting and discovered Joy Don Boswell, 35, who had been wounded in the face. A short time later, the police observed a man covered in blood strolling down a neighboring road and detained him for interrogation. Boswell passed away in the hospital, and Austin Taylor Lucas was charged with a felony. Gas station surveillance footage captured the duo bickering as Lucas held a firearm. Second-degree murder and felony gun charges were supposed to go to jail for 15 to 25 years after pleading no contest. Number 4. Attack at a German Campsite Outside of the United States, tent camping is a well-liked hobby, yet the risks are still there. However, the horrible act of murder was not the only one perpetrated against those campers. Two people who were camping in Germany's Seagau Nature Reserve on April 2, 2017, were assaulted while they slept in their tent. The 23-year-old woman was pulled out of their tent by the assailant. 31-year-old Eric X, last name withheld. He viciously raped her while her 26-year-old friend helplessly watched, holding a saw to her throat. The culprit was finally apprehended, and the victim survived the rape. Although the attacker denied being attacked, his DNA was discovered on the victim and at the site. He was found guilty and given an 11-year, 6-month jail term. An intriguing case titbit, Eric X attempted suicide in February 2018. He burned himself severely after setting his blankets on fire in his detention cell. Number 3. A family has disappeared in Iowa. A terrible triple homicide that made national news on July 22, 2022, served as a warning to the public about the risks associated with camping. At the Makokata Caves State Campground in Iowa, Four members of the Schmidt family were on vacation when they came into contact with a ruthless killer. The couple, both 42, and their daughter, 6, were discovered dead in their tent. 
The sole survivor was their nine-year-old kid. According to early accounts, the victims had been shot. They were strangled, stabbed, and shot, according to autopsies. Authorities now claim that 23-year-old Anthony Sherwin was the murderer. Sherwin had also been residing at the campsite with his own parents. He had no past criminal record. The campsite was shut down when the deaths were found, but Sherwin was nowhere to be seen. His corpse was later discovered during a search outside the campsite, in a forested area. He had killed himself. Police say they have signs that there was a reason, but they haven't said anything else. Number 2. Attack on an Island A young couple camping on Marinduque Island in the Philippines on July 15, 2022, was brutally attacked. The attacker struck the campers, Lynn, a fake name, and her boyfriend while they were inside their tent. The 21-year-old man was stabbed by the masked invader. The 17-year-old victim was overpowered and raped by the attacker despite her attempts to flee. He continued to stab her in the back and strangle her, but she pulled through. Her male partner, however, did not. Although a 1 million peso reward has been offered for information leading to an arrest in the case, none has been made so far. Number 1. 2,000 Miles on the Run, A Man Some terrible acts are a result of both adversity and familial stress. An elderly couple died in 2021 just by stepping into the path of a getaway car, and a father was slain by his son. Charles Sims Nicholson, 83, was reportedly murdered on June 19 by one Evan Nicholson. The suspected murderer allegedly stole his father's truck and fled after leaving the corpse in an RV at Oregon's Mill Casino RV site before driving over a couple in the parking lot. Anthony Oyster, 74, passed away in Pensacola, Florida. His wife, Linda, lived through the tragedy but passed away in the hospital a few weeks later. Nicholson is accused of killing a woman at a marijuana shop and running over an older couple with his car. Nicholson abandoned the stolen truck and then forced a friend to assist him in escaping using a revolver. The woman, Laura Johnson of Oregon, persuaded him to bring himself up during the 33-hour journey. Nicholson did so and was ultimately sent to Oregon for prosecution after complying. Thanks for watching.